Everything within SharePoint, whether it's 2010 or 2007, is considered a list. To create a list or to see what types of lists are already associated with my site, in the upper left hand corner, click the down arrow to the right of Site Actions. On the menu, select View All Site Content. On the All Site Content page, as you can see in the section labeled Lists, I have four types of lists associated with my site. An announcement list, a calendar list, a list of links, and tasks. To create a new list, once again you would scroll up to the top and click the Create button to the left of Site Workflows. The Create page displays with various items that can be created. On the left-hand navigation, you can filter by types or by categories. Under Types, you have the links for creating a library, list, page, or site. Clicking the List link displays the various types of lists that are standard to a SharePoint site. Announcements, Calendar, Contact, Custom List, Custom List in Datasheet View, Discussion Board, External List, Import Spreadsheet, Issue Tracking List, Links, Project Task List, and a Survey. All lists have their various types of default views. A calendar list has a calendar view just as you would see a normal calendar. A survey and a discussion board all look very differently but they are considered lists within SharePoint. Selecting any one of these items gives you a description to the right of what that particular item is and is used for. You can name the item here in the name space and you can click more options to see other items that can be added to that list when created. It gives you the option to give it a name and a description also to state how the navigation will appear. To leave the More Options page, click the Cancel button below on the right. To exit the Create page, click the Close button in the upper right hand corner of the title bar. To return to your home page, use the Navigation Up icon and select the highest level or parent site listed. This is your home page.